What's going on, everybody? It is not R9. That's right. Uh, I am not R9. If you've watched any of R9's recent videos or any videos of him playing Call of Duty, you've probably heard of me, though. My YouTube name is Thundershot69. I'm sure my link will be in the description if you want to check me out. But bottom line is my YouTube channel is not known for Pokemon. It's known for other games, and I don't know how well my... Uh, subscribers would take to Pokemon. However, R9's YouTube channel is more known for Pokemon as far as cards go at least. So I was hoping you guys would appreciate this if I posted this here, especially since sometimes R9 likes to not post for three weeks straight. I figured this could be a decent filler. So anyways, I want to thank him for letting me post on his channel and <coughs> onward to the video. As you've probably seen by the title, this is a sweep with a time pole or something. I don't know how to say it. But if you like the sweeps, let me know. I'll get more into that later. I'm going to go ahead and play this on normal speed, just so that way I can slow it down and kind of explain to you what happens. I do make a couple misplays here, but I get lucky. So anyways, I'm going to this. Um, I'm going to turn that sound down just a hair. There we go. He leads with a Brain Loom. I lead with Ninjask. Most teams like this, where you're trying to set up a sweep, lead with Ninjask to get the speed boost going early on, because obviously you're going to have a lot of baton passes. But he leads with a Brain Loom. And it's, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know everything about Pokemon Showdown yet or competitive battling, but I'm trying to get trying to get more used to it. But if you see someone lead with a Breloom, 9 times out of 10, they're going to spore. They're going to try to put you to sleep. So I switch over to Espeon. And the reason I have Espeon on my team is for Magic Bounce. If I know they're about to Toxic me, or they want to set up rocks or anything like that, paralyze me, anything like that, Magic Bounce spits that back right at them, just in case you didn't know. So Espeon won't be status, and they will. And that's really good. So instead of getting my speed boost like I really like to have, went on Espeon. I did not know Gyro Balls would hurt me that much, <clears throat> but thank God I was faster than Bronzong. So I'm going to Tom pass out into Vaporeon, who's going to take that a lot better. In fact, that was a crit, and that did practically nothing. Um, so now that I've got 2 times special attack, 2 times special defense, the only reason I really calm minded there is just because Espeon is what was out. Now I run Espeon for Calm Mind just in case, and for the Magic Bounce mainly. I run Vaporeon for Acid Armor to get my regular defense up, and it really helps a lot. You want that up. Ninjask is for the speed boost. I run Agility on him along with Sub and Baton Pass. And Celebi is a nasty plotter to get my special attack going. <clears throat> she doesn't do Calm Mind. She just nasty plots the whole way. Now, Smeargle, I've actually taken him off my sweep teams because I used him to Belly Drum, but I feel like I almost never get a safe switch into Smeargle that I know will be good and then Belly Drum. Plus, I actually don't need Belly Drum for most of what I sweep with now because Belly Drum only raises your attack. So I don't really go into him. He's just kind of there. Anyways, I about went into my time pole, or I don't even know how to say it, I call him Bringer of Death. I about went into Bringer of Death there uh, before I realized that my speed wasn't high enough. So I got the speed boost. I know I have enough to get me ahead now. And off into Celebi I go. Now look at this. Breloom is so incredibly strong. I have times three defense here. I get behind the substitute again because the spore was obvious. But I have a times three defense here. And his bullet seed still breaks through my sub. Watch this. What? Resisted, resisted. He gets three hits. Oh, it must be the next turn. No, 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 it happened earlier. I'm sorry. Excuse me. If you see how much he hurts me, though, like, it, I don't know. It's just incredible. He still took away, like, 10% damage, even though it's a resisted bullet, speed, bullet seed, and I have a time suit defense. Breloom's just incredibly, incredibly strong. Um, typically, I find these teams rather annoying. Now, watch this. This is the luckiest I get. He does a low sweep, right? So I get behind another sub, because I know I have super jacked up defenses, and this shouldn't be a problem, right? I get behind a sub... Two bullet seeds is all it takes. He only hits two. He only hits two at a time. So I got super lucky there, and I managed to live that one. But I didn't know his bullet seed was going to do that much to a times three defense Espeon. So I got back out in the Celebi to resist it. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure why I went back out in the Celebi. I think to set up a sub so I get a safe switch in. <clears throat> and I get lucky because he also decides to switch out of Breloom, who could have boned me. If he would have left Breloom in, I might have actually been boned there. But he goes to Heatran, presumably to take care of Celebi. And that was really lucky for me because Bringer of Death resists water. So here he comes. Booyah! So I'm set up. My special defense isn't the best, but luckily I double resist a flamethrower because I'm water ground. So I got to live that one. And now I'm going to be faster unless they have a priority move. I earth powered, obviously, to catch the Heatran, but that didn't happen. I'm going to be faster. My moves should almost always one hit KO. I have a setup for that. I'm running Hidden, no, I'm running uh, Earth Power, I'm running Surf, and Hyper Voice, I don't know why I Hyper Voice here, I had it in my head that Water types didn't affect Steel types as well, like they were not very effective, but that was completely wrong, so he gets to break my sub with the Gyro Ball. Surf wipes him out, 
And then just in case they go into a dragon, I also run Hidden Power Ice, which actually ended up working out really well here. Because I don't know how well Hyper Voice would have worked on Salamence. It probably would have killed him. But if it hadn't, I could have died. So I am glad I run Hidden Power Ice on that thing. But yeah, it's all it's just Sweep City here. Bringer of Death, the adorable little Bringer of Death out here is just taking them all out. Um, I want to give credit to Waffle Nipples, who was the opponent I'm playing today. Again, it's a random battle. Like, you don't know who you're getting paired up with. I want to give credit to him, though, because usually once I start the sweep, they back out and they leave. So I am really glad he stayed in, and thank him for being a trooper. Um, obviously, it doesn't take the most skill in the world to do a sweep like this, so you might not want to see more of this because it's... I mean, it's not entirely... Like, it is mildly based on skill, but it's not entirely based on skill. It's usually just me going into a room, hoping that the opponent doesn't quit out if I do get the sweep going, and hoping that they aren't good enough to stop me because if you know what you're doing, you're going to find a way to break this sweep. If you have a person with, or if you have a Pokemon with Roar on your team, unless I know what's coming and Baton Pass into Espeon, you can Roar me out and that resets all my stats back down to zero. So it's up to you. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the sweep, if you want to see sweep with other Pokemon, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what Pokemon you would like me to sweep with or if you even like this at all, because I don't have to come back. This could be a one-time thing, but if you guys enjoy it, I'm sure R9 wouldn't mind letting me post more videos on his channel for you. So yeah, it could be a Weedle Sweep, it could be a, I don't know, a Sweep in Ubers, I don't, I don't care, I don't care. Just leave a comment uh, if you want to see more Sweeps, and I will get back to you. I'll probably answer you in the comment section with my YouTube account, but I've talked far too long. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like, um, it would mean a lot. I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.